So we're going to weigh out the cloves here and we're going to weigh them so that they're, we're weighing them off the balance. So let's, uh, let's go Cassie. So she's zeroing out the beaker here. And she takes it off the balance and now she adds the cloves. Now she's going to put a fairly small amount in to begin with. We need about 25 grams, but she's going to put in a few, uh, few scoops just to get an idea of, of how much we're adding. So how much you got there? I mean, so let's just put it on there and we'll see how much we've got. It's about so three grams? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So we know we need about eight times what she's got there. So if you just want to, you can pour it out if you can. Yeah, just kind of scrape it out. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's not as convenient as having it on the balance, but the issue is, and you can actually see it, there's some uh, has ended up on the on the bench here that would have ended up on the balance if we were doing it on the balance. And we don't like stuff getting on the balance because these things are expensive. They run about six hundred dollars a piece. What do we got there? About sixteen grand. Yeah. yeah. So she knows it pretty much about how much more to add. It doesn't have to be exactly twenty-five. Just anywhere in that ballpark, maybe about. No, anywhere between 23 and 28 would be fine, I think. That's good enough. 24.27 will be excellent. All right, so Cassie's weighed out the cloves, and now she's going to add the cloves to the round bottom flask. And you can see she's just going to go ahead and pour that in. She's using a powder funnel, which is really good technique. You might need to use a spatula to push that through, or possibly, I don't know. Or maybe a stirring rod. There we go. That's good. And you'll notice that a bit of powder ends up inside the funnel, so we're going to use the water that we're adding to the cloves anyway to go ahead and rinse that. So let's go ahead and just rinse it. I'll rinse the flask too, Cassidy. Thank you. Just try and get as much of those clothes in as possible. That's good. It's perfect. Now you can just go ahead and add the rest of the water. We don't need boiling stones for this. The cloves are kind of like boiling stones. All right. So that's ready to that's ready to roll. All right, let's go ahead and put that into the clamp. You can actually rest it inside the the mantle for now, and then we'll put the clamp on there. So you'll notice what she's doing here is she's going to arrange it so that the, the clamp is around the neck of the flask. Let me show it from the other side here, show it from the other angle. There we go. So she's going to make sure that that's secure because it is going to be out of the mantle occasionally as we do this. Okay, that's good. The mantle's not on yet, is it? That's good. All right, let's go ahead and grease up the some of the some of these joints here. So we're going to grease the Kleisten adapter first, which is the that that one there. That's right. And she's just putting a little bit of a line of grease around the around the joint. All right, that can go in. All right. And now we grease the stopper. And we're not going to do any temperature work with this, so just going to be a stopper in the top here. That's good. Well done. And now we're going to grease the outer joint on the Kleisen there so that we can put the condenser into that. Now you notice we have the condenser, it's already hooked up with tubing. We haven't put the tubing, we haven't attached the tubing yet, 
to any faucets, but the tubing is already on the condenser. And I think that's the best way to, to handle it. So let's go ahead and clamp, clip that. We're using blue Kleck, blue Keck clips for these. Now, could you just put that in front of the camera? You'll see it's two parts. There's a big part and a little part. The big part goes around the big part of the joint and the little part goes around the little part. I'm going to zoom in on the joint and show Cassidy putting that on. And it just clips on. There we go. And now you can see that the you can see how the big part is around the big part of a joint. Could you just give it a little pull, Jen? And you can see that it doesn't come off. That's excellent. Alright, so now we're going to grease the end of the condenser here. And then we're going to put the receiving adapter on the end of that and that gets a cat clip as well. We only need two cat clips for this. And you can see we've got a lab jack set up with a receiving flask at the bottom of it. Could you please uh, raise that receiving flask so it's inside the collection adapter? It's good. All right, so now we're ready to now we're ready to get started. We can plug in the, the water. Now the water goes in the bottom tube and comes out the top and the top tube is resting in the sink. So you can see that that's what Jen's doing. She's tying in the bottom tube. She's gonna turn on that water. And let's uh, just, in, if you can just see the camera there, Jen, just lift out the, the tube so we can see how much water is flowing through that. And you can see that, yeah, it's not, it's not a really heavy flow. That's good, that's nice. Okay. Now we can get started on the, on the boiling. For this, what I recommend is starting on 10 to boil it. And then once it starts to boil, we'll, we, we will lower the mantle. So we'll come back to this once it starts boiling. So we're looking at the Huguenol here, and you can see that we've just started this boiling and it's starting to foam up. So Cassie, I want you to go ahead and lower the mantle, please. So she's just lowering the mantle. Now we have to have this behave. And we had to lower that too at the same time, and that's all right. So she's lowering that. Lower it, uh, lower it a fair, fair way, please. Okay, that's good. So now that it's boiling, and it looks like it's behaving, it's not really foaming up a huge amount, which is great. This is what we want. I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over a bit, just so that the mantle here is touching, just touching the very side of the flask here. And you can see that it's not foaming up. As long as it's not foaming up, I'm, I'm in good shape. Now, if I was to go ahead and put this directly back in the mantle, the whole thing would foam up and we'd have a whole bunch of foam coming over through the, through the condenser and we don't want that to happen. So what we're doing here is we're going to leave it like this for now. And I'm going to ask Cassidy to very slowly raise the, raise the mantle. So you can see she's going to use the lab jack here just to raise the mantle. Keep it touching the side like I've got it. And just raise it up maybe an inch. There we go. And just make sure that, again, it's not foaming over. So she's going to wait about five minutes and then she's going to do it again. As long as it's not foaming, then we're, we're in good shape. Now her whole idea now is to try and get this into the mantle without it foaming and then we can start turning up the temperature on the temperature dial here. So we're going to actually slow down the temperature here to maybe six as well. I think that'll work. And now we can go ahead and continue to raise it. Could you please raise it? Okay, that'll do for now. And then we're going to wait a few minutes and we're going to continue with the process. 
eventually this mantle will be, sorry, the, the flask will be entirely in the mantle and hopefully it won't be foaming over. But you can see, you can see how the potential for foaming can occur if we have it too, too much in the mantle too soon. So Cassidy's going to go ahead and raise this a bit more now. So she's waited a few minutes here before raising it. Let's go ahead and raise it a bit more. It does look like it's, it's still behaving. Now by behaving I mean it's not foaming over. And that's really important. So as long as it's not foaming over, I think you can continue to raise it. Okay, stop there for a second. And we'll just keep an eye on it. All right, let's go ahead and continue. As long as, it, as long as it doesn't foam, you can continue to raise it. Do you think it's completely in yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, it looks like it's completely, it's getting, is it completely in yet? Almost. Almost, okay. And you can see here, oh, we've, oh, we've got stuff coming over, which is great. Now take a look at that. See how it's beginning to foam up a little bit? Mm -hmm. So we're going to lower that a little bit now because it's not really behaving itself. So this is the game you're going to have to play with it. But if we lower it, that will stop the foaming as well. Let's lower it a bit more. And you can see here where we are collecting stuff, which is good. I like that. You see it's kind of oily, an oily liquid that we're collecting here. Yeah, but you see now the foaming's sort of calmed down a little bit now that you've uh, lowered it. So what uh, Cassie's going to do, she's going to be a little bit more slow about raising it and then she's going to slowly raise it a little bit more and then we'll um, hopefully have this completely inside the mantle and getting a good rate of flow across from the top here. All right, so we're in the mantle here completely, which is great. Now you'll notice it's on around a setting of about six right now. So what uh, Cassie's going to do is she's going, now it's completely in the mantle, she's going to start raising that temperature in half increments. So take it up to six and a half. We'll wait a few minutes. If it keeps on behaving, then we'll add it up another half. Eventually, it's going to be on 10 and completely in the mantle and this thing will be rocking. As you can see, there's a lot of, uh, lot of liquid coming over, which is great. We're trying to get about 70 mils of it, and that's, uh, that'll be our aim. So you can see here that the thing is completely in the mantle, and the temperature is at 10, and now they've got a lot of material, so probably more than what they need, which is good. So now they're going to go ahead and cool this thing down, so they're gonna take everything apart. So let's turn everything off, please. And we're going to take the heat right away as well. And there we go, that's good. That's good, all right. Now this is going to take a, a, while, to, a while to cool down. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually work with the, the solution here and what what Takashi's going to do, she's going to get a small beaker and put it underneath in place of the, the flask that we're using here. Alright, so that looks like a nice solution. If you could just, uh, I'll just show that in the camera here. So it's very oily, and that's okay, that's exactly what we want. Now one other thing that we can do is, they kind of got lucky because they didn't have anything foaming over, which was fantastic. But one thing that we can do is, while we're doing the actual collecting, we can be pouring out portions into, say, a graduated cylinder to see how much we have. And then if it does foam over, then we don't lose our entire, we don't lose our entire amount that we've already gotten. But it looks as, but you know, they got lucky here and they didn't have any foam over. They were very, very studious with their management and making sure that none of it, uh, none of it got into that collection vessel, which is excellent. And I can tell that because it's nice and white. If it was brown, I know that, I'd know that they had, um, had experienced some, some flow over, which it didn't happen here. 
Right, so now while that's cooling, and it's going to take a while to cool, we can be working with the, the extractions. So to cool this down, I think it's a good idea to do what, uh, do what Jan's done here and put it in a, a cork ring and uh, just let it sit while it, while it cools. Uh, it will be cooled by the time you get done with your extractions and everything else, but this will, should be the last thing you do is to clean this up and take it apart.